live in three, two, one, zero, and here we go. We're live again. Hey, everybody. Thanks again. Uh, I don't know if anyone tuned into the momentary attempt at a live stream I did a few minutes ago that failed miserably as my mic wasn't set up correctly, and uh, I think there was something else that wasn't set up correctly, but in general, uh, that's the game with live streaming, I guess. I need to have a better checklist, but this is the first time it's actually happened where I was a bit sloppy with it, but... Uh, I attempted to clean it up. Unfortunately, I did some posts ahead of time, so, eh, c'est la vie. Anyways, so last month I did a video here with this Dali AI art, and I wanted to do another one. I got more credits, and I've also got some credits for this other one uh, from a, a website called Night Cafe. They've started doing another system called Stable Diffusion, which is kind of another algorithm similar to the Dali one. <clears throat> they have a little less uh, data points kind of thing. But they've tuned it their own way, and they they claim it's pretty decent. So I'd like to do them both back to back. I've got forty nine credits with uh, for for Night Cafe, and I've got fifteen credits with Dali. Uh, I'm gonna do two credits each with the Stable Diffusion one, so that I can get four images. And maybe I'll do a couple of, uh, of like nine image creators or something, just just to try to even out my my token usage and get a good uh, you check it out, you know, kind of thing. So let's just see here. I'm going to jump to the browser. It's probably not going to be set up correctly. Oh, there we go. It actually was. Nice. Uh, so things are partially working, happy to say. Uh, also, this is a live stream, so feel free to throw some chats in the messages in the live chat or after the fact, some comments. Uh, if uh, anything you, you happen to think as I'm going along here. But otherwise, let's just dive into playing with these credits. So the first page I'm showing here is just kind of a, a little brief introduction to what Dolly 2 is, a new AI system that can create realistic images and art from descriptions in natural language. Ah, natural language. I know that. Great. Let's do it. You know? Um, so they've got all sorts of cool images here. Uh, you could do an astronaut lounging in a tropical resort as pixel art. And now they have the ability to kind of fine tune these and we're going to see as we generate that it's not always perfect like this, but it's a pretty cool system. Um, it's really got me excited. That's why I've been doing a few videos about it. Just, I think it was like a year ago or two years ago where this started happening. These kind of AIs, there was one dolly, like you can see here, the differences and that one was kind of eh, whatever. <clears throat> and I even have something on my own website. Like I have a website, dustinbrett.com. And within that, there's a background here called Hexelis. That's actually created by the same guy that did the Google, or not Google, whatever it happens to be, the Deep Dream stuff. And I remember some of the Deep Dream images were the first thing where I was like, oh, is this like the electric, uh, the android dreaming of electric sheep kind of thing? And, <clears throat> I mean, this is uh, probably beyond what we've almost imagined would be. This is, this is, uh, I mean, is it though? I don't know, I guess. That's one interesting piece to it. Is it dreaming or is it just this kind of mix of what we're giving it kind of thing? And per perhaps that is what it is just to show the interface here. So this is the the one I, I used in my last video. You can see here on the right, this is the recent ones I created. You can uh, check out my last video to to see those ones I created. Um, and I actually used quite a bit of credits. I only created the last like 20 or so. Like I said, this time we have another 15 credits here. And if I were to, these are some of the ones that have been generated just in general. These are some of their highlight reels. And these are a little tricky where if you click them, I think it just kind of like, oh, you lost a credit. Like right away it goes to generating based on that prompt. Um, and that's the big concept here with the AI art and the natural language is these prompts. Uh, also, by the way, while I'm doing the generation, I'm going to switch to a different browser tab just because my basic understanding of the terms of service kind of thing is you, you should probably kind of uh, check it first before you put it on a stream. So I'll do that. I'll uh, or wait. Well, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll flip over to my my face here rather than switch tabs, and then uh, I'll take a peek at it. And if I give it the okay, we'll take a look at it. And pretty much in all cases, I think we're going to like it's not going to be not safe for work type stuff. I just want to make some fun images, and I got some ideas uh, here. Uh, one cool thing I found here: this Dallery Gallery. That's I think one thing people that are playing with this kind of stuff should check out. Also talking about playing with this kind of stuff, I'm not going to get into it too much in this episode, but if you search on Google, there are actually a lot of free ones, including the Stable Diffusion one that are that you can kind of play with a little bit. The Dolly one's a little trickier to get to, but I happen to have an invite uh, that I, I was had a lot of credits in my last video. This time I have 15 credits, and uh, anyway, I already explained that. This is a cool guide, though, because it just kind of gets into the whole prompt engineering thing where you're actually making different prompts, and, and there's a lot of uh, inspiration here. I've taken some inspiration for some of my ideas that I'm going to use in my prompts. Uh, and it's just kind of a cool PDF. Like, this definitely could be the future. If there's a tool that's like, let's imagine a tool 10 years in the future that's like two times better than this. And you can make as many images as you want 
for for infinite, you know, and it's really fast. That would be insane because already right now with just making like four images at a time with some free credits, I can make cool stuff. So if it was double that and it's infinite, it's like that that's a whole generation of people making crazy stuff, basically. I mean, as you can see here, this is all crazy stuff. Like, it, it's hard to grasp. If you showed people this, like, they wouldn't even understand. Like, oh, okay, that's someone, or they got makeup on someone, or it's based on something. It, essentially, it's not. It's essentially made up. I mean, it looks like a person, sure, but you know, there's billions of people out there with. And I, I mean, I see people that look like other people all the time, so. It's just all made up in a, in a very interesting way. I mean, I guess it'll be cool if we see studies in the future where they talk about this, where, like, like I'm not going to go figure that out. But where is this stuff coming from? Like, if we looked at all of the data coming in, is there something pretty close to this that it kind of copied a lot? I don't think so, though. It all seems pretty original, and some of it's pretty off the wall. And then especially when you get into, like, the little adjustments and just what it can do, you could see that, oh, okay, well, if it can do these adjustments, these little minor adjustments on the picture, then it it could essentially just make the whole picture that way. So perhaps that is what it's doing, you know? So it's an easy way to be like, oh, even if I did think it was copying something, it doesn't have to, because clearly it's it doesn't it can do it other ways. And a lot of what's been made here and a lot of what I'm talking about with making as many images as you want, that's where the fine tuning comes in, where you'll be able to make this really cool stuff. Like, like it shows the prompts here, let's say for this one here, digital art of a portrait of a woman holding pencil. Uh, these are the prompts where there'll be a lot of little descriptive text. Now, did did this prompt create that image on the first go? Doubtful, but maybe. Uh, but that's where I talk about a lot of the tweaking comes in is like maybe the eyes weren't right so they can pick the eyes and they can give Dolly more prompting. It's like make make 10 more pictures with different eyes. And we're not going to get into that today, by the way. Here's Stable Diffusion, pretty creepy one. <laughs> a lot of these example pictures. I'm not as impressed with it so far. I, I made a few. I made just like a couple images, uh, but I don't want to knock it. And it's just an algorithm anyways. This one, another interesting piece about it is that it's open source. So I believe you could just like uh, check out that repo and, and kind of run it yourself if you have a powerful enough uh, graphics processor, uh, you know, graphics card. Uh, but you can see it's made some cool images here. There's some kind of symmetry to them I'm not so happy about, and there's something a little too like sharp with a lot of them. Um, but some of them can be fine-tuned pretty interesting. Like that one's pretty creepy. These cartoon ones are really good. Like I think the sharpness, or, or I'm not sure what I'm talking about with the sharpness, but there's some style to it that works good like on this picture. Um, it's really hard to explain, and I, and I guess that's probably why it's hard to, to make a program that can do this. This is the interface for this one. Uh, like I said, Night Cafe actually has a couple. So if I go create here, assuming it works, there we go. I press create. I can actually pick different algorithms. So they have a couple different ones. Th this is kind of more like the deep dream thing I remember from back in the day. <laughs> back in the day, like two years ago, a year ago, I don't know. Uh, this, I think, is somewhat similar to what Dolly 2 was doing a little bit, but with, with Dolly 2 has a lot more data. And this is the stable diffusion algorithm that I believe is open source. Um, so some of the tweaks that I'm going to do, a lot like if I just clicked it right there, I think most of this will be default now. But if you see here, there's a sampling method. I've decided to keep that a default from what I heard. Same with the prompt weight. Well, maybe we'll play around with it a little bit. As far as the number of images, I made, a, I made a couple with just this. This is not a good deal if you look at this. So it's like I can have four images for two credits. So it's like versus I have two images for two credits if I do this twice. So it's actually a lot better deal to make four images. And that's how Dolly 2... The way, at least the credits I have for Dolly 2, it only makes four images. I've seen ones where people have it make more, but I'm not going to waste on that. So that's, oh wait, why does it say two credits? Oh yeah, I think it's, hopefully it's talking about the same two credits. Yeah, the whole run will t cost two credits. And here, as you see, I have 49 credits. Um, so yeah, I think we've explained it enough. Let me take a peek at what my prompt ideas are. So I'm also going to show some examples of where I get some of the inspiration from. So in this case, with this Instagram post here, I thought this was a cool one. Portrait of a Basset Hound 8K photograph. That was kind of cool, I thought. But I have a beagle. So I figured let's let's try it with a beagle, right? So let's let's use my credit. Let's use a credit here. I'm going to do a portrait of a beagle 8K photograph. So we'll switch over to me. And you can see me for a little bit. I'm going to actually I can press generate and show you the generate just to show you what it looks like. So I press generate. It starts to generate. Now I'll switch over. So that's what the generate button looks like. It basically just jumps right into like a progress bar. And it's pretty quick to the point where you're not going to have to look at me uh, too long. And uh, while it's creating this, I also see in the live chat here, I got a 
Crepinson Production saying hi. Uh, hey, thanks for checking out uh, the video. And uh, yeah, we definitely got some beagles here. Let's take a peek at them. So there we go. So there's our, our beagle photos. Let me move my picture out of the way here. I'm a little bit in the way of, of the... Oh, let me not completely get rid of it. I'm going to put myself up here for the... Up right here in the middle. This is a nice little random spot to be. But it's actually not that in the way, to be honest. Or is it? Yeah. Let's just put me here. No reason I can't be there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit there. There we go. It's pretty good beagles. I mean, if you consider that these aren't real beagles, uh, a lot of beagles look the same. If I had to pick one, I, I almost think this is like too realistic. Like, okay, what was I expecting? Like, this is just pictures of beagles, basically. If if you think that it's like it made them, okay, that's pretty cool. Let's let's pick this one to take a look at. I mean, it's very amazingly well done. Um, to the point of it not being impressive, I guess it's it's hard to tell. Is it just a photo? I don't know. I guess not. Let's say it's really good. Let's press save to this one. That's in my, I guess that goes to my collection. I don't even know. Actually, I'm, I'm going to share it later, but it's in my recents. Anyways, I like it. It looks a little bit like my dog, Sky. Uh, let's check out the next one here. So this is one I saw recently in the news, actually. is that It was like a news article where it's like, somebody typed in, last selfie ever taken. Uh, pretty creepy. I'm imagining they did some fine-tuning there as well. Oh, actually, no. Before we jump into it, let's let's try the same prompt now with Stable Diffusion, of course. That was a big part of this entire thing I was talking about. So let's jump to it. Uh, for the seed, we could randomize it. doesn't matter. Square, I've decided to. So square four, I think that matches pretty good with what Dali made here. Four square images. I think they're 512 by 512. I don't know. Let's do the same thing here. I'm not sure if they have the same terms of service, but I'll do the same like hiding it. But let's press create so you can see what create makes happen. Uh, so yeah, it's like creating it right there. These are some of the other ones I created. I can take a, show you a peek at these ones while it's creating this one. These ones were weird so far so a lot of the, uh, the four that i did try were similar to the ones i did in my previous video a brain riding a rocket ship i don't really see a brain too much there snoopy in a claude monet pretty rough snoopy um bald husband black haired wife if my wife doesn't have hair instead of two kids i got two dogs it's not the best like i say this is when i was creating only one image at a time now we're going to be doing four at a time so i'm more hopeful it's going to be better and this other one was a Norman Rockwell time machine one. Yeah, that was I also tried with Dolly. Dolly had really good results with it. Uh, you can check out my other video for like the Dolly versions of these ones. And essentially, Dolly beat it in all of these. Some of that's very Norman Rockwell esque, but not what I was looking for. Uh, I'll switch back to the camera here just so I can take a peek. Oh, it did make it. Oh, it actually made some decent beagles. Okay, that almost is in some ways a, a little bit better or more interesting to me than what I saw. So I click view creation. I really like that top right one. Um, how can I click one at a time? Oh, interesting. I wonder, it seems like I can't, but maybe there must be a way. Okay, whatever. Those are pretty cool. The, the real dead eyes on the beagles, but that top right one is quite nice, actually. If I could pick one, I'd like to, but it doesn't seem like I can. That's one little flaw with it, perhaps. I could play, I mean, that's not super important. What, edit? Remove, download, maybe download image would allow me to. We'll play with that later. Uh, wait, what was that? Select creations, bulk download, yeah. I would say it did pretty good anyways for a creation. Let's jump on to the, that, the last selfie ever taken now. So that's the basic idea anyways. We've run a, we've run a Dali one. We've run a stable fusion diffusion one. Cool. I, I just lost uh, two credits, not so bad. Actually, yeah, let's, let's use, lose a little more credits for the next one just for fun. So I'm going to create another one here, Stable Diffusion. I'll do the, the last selfie ever taken. And this time I'm going to make nine images for four credits. I can I can afford it. Don't worry. Uh, should we adjust the prompt weight? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go 60%. Let's, let's not go too crazy. Everything else is fine. So I'm going to create that one. And in the interim, I'm going to jump over to Dali. And I'm also going to create the exact same thing. Uh, Dali doesn't have as many configuration options, but at the same time, I think its defaults are are be are are what like I'm trying to achieve with stable diffusion because I think the defaults are better. So I'll press generate to this one as well, and then we'll jump over to the camera. I'll take a peek and see how the stable diffusion one's going. Isn't done yet, but you saw that beagle one was pretty fast, so that gives you an idea for how quick they are. And it's created. What did I put in there? Oh man, these are not what I expected. So I got some real interesting ones from stable diffusion. They're not too scary, but they're I don't know what. 
to think of them. Hmm. I don't imagine any of those being the last selfie ever taken. It's cool that it made nine images. Um, yeah, I think it didn't get the point. That's where I wonder, like, the person that made the last selfie ever taken, how much fine-tuning they actually did to get what they got. But let's, uh, let me just check, take a peek at the Dolly one and see if that's a little less scary. Um, well, it's also creepy. Neither of them really hit anywhere close to the mark of what I wanted to happen. They both kind of got the whole idea. That there's a, This is funny that there's like a selfie. It's like a picture of someone taking a selfie. I guess that's not unreasonable. None of them are selfies. They're all pictures of people taking selfies. Okay, so they both missed the mark there. That's an unfortunate one. I'm not going to go back on that one. How many credits we got now? We're down to 13 credits. So another cool one I thought was kind of fun. This one doesn't really have any specific inspiration. But I was thinking, like, okay, like the word cyber, like last time we did cyber uh, goat, and that was inspired by cyber frog. And then I was thinking, well, what's cyber? Well, there's the cyber truck, of course, the Tesla cyber truck. So I thought, well, what about if there was a Tesla cyber car? Uh, and let's put it in. I was thinking of putting it in the desert, but let's not even do that. Let's not let's not confuse it. Let's just say a Tesla cyber car, so we can imagine the future. You know, after the cyber truck is a is a huge success. So let's press generate. Let's actually close these things that are in my way that are confusing me. All these other tabs. There we go. We just got Dolly and Stable Diffusion now. So let's start the cyber car over there. And we'll also start the cyber car here. We're not going to use... We're just going to do four images this time. Although, hmm, I kind of wonder. Yeah, let's just do four. So was the 60% better? I mean, no. Do I want to go less? Let's just stick to 50%. All right, let's go less. Let's go 40% this time on the prompt weight. And yeah, otherwise, let's just create that. I'll take a peek at the Dolly one. Uh, oh man, the Dolly one swung and missed, but whatever. Uh, this is like something you get on Fiverr, I guess. I don't even know what this is. There's nothing cyber here. I mean, you're supposed to take a cyber truck and make it into a car. You did not. Okay, let's see if Stable Diffusion did any better. So these are just me failing at prompt creation, perhaps. I need to have better prompts. Let's see what the next one is. I mean, I have quite a variation. I've actually read that prompt guide, so some of them will be better than others. I mean, they both got they both know what Tesla is. So here's stable diffusions. Um that just looks like the Tesla car as is. So definitely didn't create anything new or inventive in that aspect. But I'm gonna I'll blame it on me. Let's try another one here. So this one I thought was kind of fun. Uh, this was inspired by that. Uh, it was a different article, actually, just talking about uh, things that some of the AIs were good at. One of them was this uh, surveillance footage. So I thought it'd be funny if, like, oh, there was surveillance footage of Jesus, like, leaving the tomb or whatever, you know, like, uh, I'm not religious or anything, but just in a humorous way, I was thinking that, like, like, oh, they caught it on film, you know. So I thought, okay, let's let's see what surveillance footage of that would look like. Uh, and, yeah, let's see what that'll look like. So let's, I don't know where that's going to take us, but let's just give it a shot. We know the process now. I press generate. I press generate. I jump over here. Uh, some of the stuff they tell you, like, well, it's loading is kind of neat. Like the panda mad scientist mixing. Sp that's one thing. Sometimes where they show, like, the best of and they just give a prompt. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just take that prompt and just put it in again to see how close it is because that's where I don't I don't like when they show like I almost wish every one of these generated images was just you took a prompt and you got that because if it gets to be this part where you're massaging it a bunch it's like well it's cool you were able to make that but that but then it, it wasn't was it wasn't just the tool I mean good for you anyways okay we got some funny ones here <laughs> these are funny from Dali I don't know they aren't at all what I expected but they're funny uh this is like a screen on a rock and yeah, um, and Jesus leaving a tomb. Uh, the words here, it, all of these are fun. I don't know why this this, yeah, these are I, I hard to describe. That's a funny part of it, I guess, is that it's like the AI didn't really understand the concepts enough, so it just put stuff together. And I, I'm not even sure what's funny about this or how to describe it, but it's just absurd, I guess. Almost all of these. Um, let me just see if the. Other one is a little bit better. Uh, oh, this, well, no, but it's interesting anyways. So stable diffusion here, it's, it's got some cool stuff. I wouldn't say any of these are surveillance footage E, but they're kind of cool pictures. So I'm going to give it to stable diffusion for that one. Let's take a turn here and jump to one that was kind of a recommendation from a viewer from last time. The only comment I got on my last video 
Come on, this time, please, more comments. Uh, was War of the Worlds. So let's just try that. War of the Worlds. I'm not going to add anything to that. Just War of the Worlds. Do the same here with Stable Diffusion. Actually, I wonder about using one of my credits for one of these other scenes. Um, although none of them else look really that good. Let's just, one thing at a time. Maybe we could do the tweaking on the next one, perhaps. Four images. For prompt weight, let's go further even. Let's go 70%. I, I really don't know enough about prompt weight. I, careful, too much can overcook your image. What? Like, how would I know what that is? Overcook. Oh, I wouldn't want to overcook it, right? Presumably. I mean, what if the what if my prompt was overcooked image? Then I probably would want it to use that prompt. What did I type? Oh, okay, War of the Worlds. Sometimes when I get the image, it's so far off that I forgot what I even asked of it. So here's what we got from Dali, War of the Worlds. Uh, it's cool. It's not like I would have imagined, like, aliens and robots and stuff. I guess for that, I probably should have put, like... Aliens from War of the Worlds doing something in some style, etc. Didn't do that. Yeah, all of those are... the. Yeah, I'm not happy with any of those, honestly. Let's see what we got. Oh, here we go. So, Stable Diffusion knew what's up. That's what I wanted. Here's War of the Worlds. That's pretty cool. I think Stable Diffusion is like better at dystopias or something. It seems like people make creepy dystopia stuff with Stable Diffusion more often. Um, this one's pretty cool. I like these. I don't, it's not exactly the robots from War of the Worlds, and I like that. It even got the, the words a little bit better. War of the War. <laughs> That's a, I like that. War of the War. That's a nice one. Okay, what else we got here? How many have I done in Dali? I have 11 left. I've only done four. Oh, I'm, I'm slow here. So the next one, oh, that's because I jumped here. I'm jumping around. That's probably part of my problem. But at the same time, I'm trying to keep it entertaining. As far as entertaining, here's one. Here's where I was thinking, like, it's hard to make up stuff for Dali. Like, you have to be creative to even think of the prompts. But one I was thinking of where I just started thinking of, like, what-if scenarios. And I and I watched the UFC. And they're always talking about, like, what if Bruce Lee fought, fought in the UFC? So Bruce Lee fighting in the UFC. I have no idea what this is going to look like, you know? I don't actually know. Like, I almost don't want to read too much of the prompt book. I don't even want to know necessarily what it's good at. I want to be surprised. I want to type something and go like, oh, this is going to be another bad one. And then it just gets like, it just blows my mind like a dream or something. Was the last stable diffusion? It was better but a higher prompt weight, I think. What did I do? 70%? It was, it was more what I liked. Should I go even further? 80%? For Bruce Lee? Yeah, let's, we need Bruce Lee in this. So let's do some credits. And while we're switching over to camera, I see some chat messages. Let's take a peek. Uh, from Crepson Productions here, we got, have you heard of the Bun JavaScript runtime? It's pretty interesting. I have indeed. Uh, I should probably do a video on it, but I haven't played with it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm one of those people, I'm not an early adopter for a lot of uh, JavaScript technologies, to be honest. Um, a lot of my channels about JavaScript stuff, but I'm not an early adopter for that. More for like this kind of stuff, like AI art. It's like, okay, give it to me as soon as possible. I'm on all the waiting lists. That's how I got those early credits. So for that kind of stuff, I want to dive into the new tech just to see what's possible. But for the other stuff, it's like it hasn't been – I, I need it to be a little more proven, you know. Like the bun the bun's still in the oven perhaps, uh, you know. Uh, from Teaching Jing, wow, needs some work. Uh, I think he's talking about the, the just the last one I did there. The Actually, I'm not sure what he's talking about. Uh, I should have read the message earlier before I generated a bunch of stuff. But we'll see what he's talking about if he clarifies that one. Need a lot of it. Oh, maybe the War of the Worlds one, because that was a cool one. Uh, he's on, uh, and also Teaching Jing just mentioned that he's also on the waiting list. So that's something I should have said to everybody. Get on the waiting list. That I think I got on some of the waiting list for this night cafe thing too, because you're supposed to get like five. I think you can get five credits a day for free if you just sign up now. But I, I got fifty for some reason. Okay, cool. This did really good actually. So this is the Stable Diffusion one, and I think those are pretty cool actually. I mean, that's not a UFC ring. This one with the gloves and the shorts, that's actually decent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay. They did pretty good there. So let me jump. Oh, I didn't even run it. And Oh, I, do, I did run it. It just doesn't change the Chrome tab title. Oh, interesting. I pressed generate, and then I switched tabs, and it actually did not generate it until I went to the tab. So now I know I shouldn't just do that generate, gener generate, and walk away. The double generate, I call it. Some decent ones. Um, they're definitely not what I expected. They're nothing like the other ones as far as realism. I think the Dolly 
one is less into names of people and yeah i could see why it's that's fair that's fair so that was a swing and a miss here's one i want to try that i did last time which was a warp engine this time i decided to do the blueprints for the warp engine so let's generate it here i don't expect it's going to be a problem but let's just let's just always jump to the to the me for a second here I, I yeah i guess if i if i jumped to the other one it wouldn't generate on dolly i now realize it must have something in there to make sure oh wow it did some cool ones though okay they're definitely blueprints here do any of these look like warp engines? Um, that looks like an engine. That one too looks like it has hearts in it. That's pretty cool. Okay, I like it. Just fair is fair. Let's see how this thing does with blueprints. I want to make four of them. Let's go really high for blueprints. I need an. Uh, let's go 100%. I want an actual functional uh, warp engine, please. One warp engine, please. All right, it's uh, it's baking. I think it's basically done. Uh, I'm not even sure if they have the same terms of service where I'm not supposed to show it being made. It's pretty anticlimactic. There's actually one called Mid Journey that I was thinking of going through today, but I've had some mixed feelings about it, and I, don't, I only have a few credits left. It's uh, you can sign up for it again. It's another one of those beta ones. Uh, it's like a Discord bot where you have to go on their Discord channel and type your your prompt but yeah it was similar to some of what i've been experiencing here with the stable diffusion one where it was very uh it was disappointing very often unfortunately so hopefully that's not the case anymore speaking of disappointing stable diffusion is taking forever in the interim let's just jump over to dali again here another fun one i wanted to try uh, I like the Salvador Dali style one. So I wanted to try a, a Minecraft world created by Salvador Dali. I thought that was kind of neat. Got eight credits left. Let's generate. I've pressed generate. I'm going to let that generate. And just as a sneak peek at what the next one is, I was thinking. is that uh, I was thinking from like children's stories that would be some cool ones. So I was thinking like Chicken Little, the sky is falling. What would it actually look like if the sky was falling? Let's, uh, let's see. Uh, first, let's check out this Dali one. Pretty much just made Minecraft worlds. They're kind of neat, though. It definitely knows what Minecraft is, I think. That one's kind of neat. I don't think Minecraft and Daliism or whatever really fit together, so that was probably my first mistake. But let's give let's give Stable Diffusion a chance to do it. Uh, oh, it made the warp warp engine blueprints. They're pretty good. They're they're more crisp, definitely. These look like Russian plans, and the other ones were the Americans' plans. This is the Russian warp engine. It's cool anyways. I like it. So let's try another stable diffusion here. So this is the Minecraft uh, one I wanted to try. Do we want to do more credits again? No, let's not. This isn't the one to waste it on. Let's stick to 50% this time. I really don't know if that percentage thing even does anything. And while it's doing that, we'll jump over to Dolly because it looks like the stable diffusion one can do it in the background. Next up, I wanted to do that chicken little one and see how much that sky is falling. So let's give that one. Chicken little watching the sky falling. You notice a few of the prompts. I haven't been doing styles. Um, possibly that's a mistake. I think I might try in the next time not to do it that way. But basically what I'm talking about is, is like adding at the end uh, like art painting or, or specific artist uh, photograph, 8K, all, all those like buzzwords. I think that they probably help. But I, I'm not really sure what art style I want at the moment. And maybe we'll, I'll show you with Stable Diffusion. There's actually a little thing we can do for that. So here's Chicken Littles watching the sky fall. Yeah, basically it just looks like rain. Uh, that's not what I wanted at all. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and the Minecraft World one, yeah, that's another one where it just kind of made Minecraft worlds. So again, I think I swung and missed on the prompts there. But uh, you can learn from my mistakes. So here's a stable diffusion thing I wanted to show. So if we don't do, or we can still do advanced, but there's this cool thing, there's modifiers. Uh, I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it basically just adds text to, to it after. So the synth wave, if I add synth wave, it just adds synth wave neon retro to the prompt. And that kind of is like the hint to the AI that you wanted in that style. So that's like the modifier for it. Uh, on that note, maybe we'll try a modifier now. Let's try a modifier for the chicken little one then. So we got chicken little, the sky is falling, and then let's add a modifier of maybe as an oil painting. Maybe that would have been better. Or cubist. Fantasy. That's where we should have gone with it. 
Chick and Little Watching the Sky Falling, Ethereal Fantasy, Hyper Detailed Mist, Thomas Kincaid. Oh, okay. It added a lot there. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna do nine credit images for this one. It's four credits. I have a little bit of credits to spare. Well, up the prompt weight. I think 70%. I was pretty... I was feeling better with those prompt weights at 70%, actually. Can't do 65%, so say la vie there. Let's try this. This is going to be four credits. This is costly. So we've done that. I'm going to... What was... Was I running anything with Dolly? No, that bad chicken little thing that really failed on us. So we're, we're letting the stable diffusion run chicken little. And while it's doing that, let's go back to Dolly and let's try another interesting one I had. Maybe interesting. We'll see. Was I was thinking Claude Monet, but I was thinking, what if he did a painting of a nuclear explosion in the style of Claude Monet? That could be cool, I think. Uh, I've also noticed Dolly 2 is faster. I guess they just have more money to, to put behind faster servers or whatever it happens to be. But I appreciate the speed because, uh, you know, time time is money. And cool, it made them. I like them, actually. None of them are a mushroom cloud. These were all nuclear explosions that were detonated from the air, it looks like. Interesting choice for Dali. Uh, I guess he didn't see a mushroom cloud, but it's quite beautiful, actually. Like, this one's pretty nice. I, I, I could see it. I could watch it do Monet's all day. That would be another cool thing. That'd be like a cool screensaver of it just, like, making different Monet paintings. Yeah, I like all of these. None of these look like nuclear explosions. They look like the sun exploding or something. But anyways, it's pretty cool. Let's check out what we got here. Okay. Very cool. Very cool here. Let's check these. So stable diffusion did some interesting stuff here. The, okay. So this is the sky supposed to be falling for chicken little. The sky doesn't really appear to be falling in any of these, but I'm impressed with what I would consider a chicken. Like that could be a chicken little. Some of these are just chickens, just straight up chickens. Uh, maybe I gave it too much credit. I mean, they're pretty skies. The shadows are nice, but did they really, I think they forgot about my prompt and, and I put 70% for the prompt, I think too. So yeah, that was a, that's a bit up and down, I guess. I think the stylizing kind of makes you forget that it's like, what did I ask for? I don't know. So let's try this Claude Monet now. Let's see how stable diffusion does with Monet is. I would, I would assume decent because there's something about them that it seems to do that the AIs seem to do well with. I don't know what it is, but let's give it a shot. And while it's making that, let's move on to our next Dali generation. Which, uh, yeah, this was another one. This was inspired by that guide that we looked at, the Dali Dali Gallery, or however you pronounce that. As I noticed, some of the little three D guys they had. One of them was pretty cool, I thought, and I thought let's just make let's just change the parts of that to be me. So the digital art portrait of a white bald man, that's me. Before it was like some other person, you know. It was like a Chinese uh, woman maybe, I don't even know. It was very specifically like, oh, uh, this kind of, you know, like that kind of person, you know. Like it was a, a descriptor. Holding a laptop, I think the other person was holding a camera. And then the rest I basically kept the same. I think the key pieces here are things like cute Pixar character, Houdini, Houdini 3, 3D render, digital art portrait. Maybe that's the key stuff. I don't know. Let's try it out. Jumping over here, hopping over there. Oh, this is more like what I wanted. Again, Stable Diffusion did it. This is the, what was this? What was it, a Monet? Whatever it was, it's a mushroom cloud. I wanted a mushroom cloud. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I like this one, how there's a reflection on the water that it got. Pretty cool, actually. Yeah. I'm happy with that one. Let's see what Dolly has given us. Oh, man. When I'm not on that tab, it just does not care. Oh, there's some funny ones. Okay. So, Dolly. It did make... These are some 3D characters. I like the shadowing. It kind of... I mean, I should have mentioned the hair color, I guess, to Dolly. Maybe that would have helped. Some of these are just puppety. This guy's got a lot of extra teeth. But they're fun, anyways. I think this is where you would do the tweaking. You would pick one of these, and then you would go edit image, or you would generate variations. I don't really want to spend my credits on that. We'll see if we have any. Yeah, we're not going to have any spare credits, I don't think. So, but that would be the idea. That's where I think it'd be cool. You know, make this double double better, and give me infinite amount to create. That's all I ask for. Is that too much to ask? 
Probably. Here's another one I wanted to try that I've heard good things about. Is a film still. I've seen a lot of funny examples on Twitter of Dolly making film stills. And I don't know what we'll get here, but I thought Rick and Morty in Star Trek as a film still. I don't know what that's going to give us. Um, at the same time, though, I'd like to get the runnings of the Night Cafe one again for the same creation. Because I'm also interested to see how it makes a 3D character. And if it makes any, uh, it makes it a little bit better. We have 25 credits. Let's try another 9 image one then for 4 credits. Just so we can get some more variation. Let's do 60% here on that. And we'll create that. And then at the same time, I'm going to also generate the film still of Rick and Morty. And let's give those two a go and see what we get. And I've only got a couple credits left. So it will, it'll be interesting. Got here teaching Jing saying he should try the modifiers. Yeah. yeah, the modifiers seem interesting. I think the modifiers are like the best case scenarios for these AI models where it's like, we know it'll make a good fantasy or a good this one or a good that one. And instead of just the prompt where you're kind of winging it, but uh, I like it better to just wing it. And that's where I wish we just had more credits. You know, I could spend all day making these things. If it was a little bit faster, that'd be great too. Oh, the Star Trek thing's cool, actually. Okay, so here's the Rick and Morty Star Trek. That one's interesting. <laughs> that one's fun. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what these, how to describe them exactly, but I think it basically hit what I was looking for here. I don't know who that other character is supposed to be. This one's a cool one too, a little cartoony. I like the realism-ishness of that one, almost like uh, they're like uh, the little characters. Clay not claymation, but like where you move the action figures almost. Like a robot, was it Robot Chicken used to do that? This looks like a Robot Chicken Star Trek with Rick and Morty almost kind of thing. It's good anyways. This The Morty here is very fun. I wish he had pupils, but maybe that's asking too much. What has, what have been created here? Oh, the 3D rendering. It was bad. It did bad. Stable Diffusion did not do a good job with 3D rendering. The guy's mad in all of these, first of all, and they're just like really bad 3D renders, honestly, compared to what we had from uh, Dali. Okay. Oh, well. Let's try the film still one for this. Let's see if it can do a little bit better with that. For this, I'm going to also bump the, the weight back up to 70. I feel like that's better. And let's make another one of those. And while we're at it, let's see what the next idea I had was. The next idea I had was a, sur a space surveillance photo. I don't think I have the words to describe this properly. I'm thinking like the if the newer version of Battlestar Galactica where they used to do these scenes where like a spaceship would be flying and then the camera would zoom in as if somebody was just floating in space doing a perfect shot of the thing. I imagine that like our NASA space telescopes discovering an alien ship one day, what that image would look like. But I don't know how to describe it. So the best I got here, a photo of an alien ship from a space surveillance telescope. Let's just see what we got. You know, there's something interesting about these AI art programs, and just when you're making stuff, you never know what you're gonna get, and it's a, it's a, like a one in a once in a lifetime thing, kind of. Every time you run it, it's kind of interesting. Okay, these are kind of cool, actually. Yeah, these maybe are what I thought I wanted. I don't even know what I wanted. This one maybe not. This one though, yes. There's something about this is cool. It's like. NASA's moon observatory thing spotted this. Although, to be honest, that looks like one of our ships. That doesn't look like an alien ship. It's not alien enough for me. This one obviously is. But this could just be a muffin as well. And, yeah, that one's not bad either. Again, that kind of looks a little bit like one of ours. Pretty cool, though, for the most part. Let's see what Stable Diffusion's given us for Rick and Morty. It basically just gave us Rick and Morty, the TV show. Uh, I don't see Star Trek there. Morty's gone completely. It's just a bunch of Rick. Oh, well. It it did not do well there. Let's see if it does better with the space surveillance. There's been a couple where it's it's done better with. But in general, I feel like Dolly is just is more fine-tuned. Maybe they shouldn't give us this prompt weight. It's like, maybe I'm making mistakes with my adjustments. I don't know. They, they give me, they're giving me too much control. So I got... How many credits I got left with Dolly? Two. I got two more ideas. So here's one I thought where I, I remember Elon Musk and Lex Friedman having a podcast once and him asking what he would want to ask an AI. 
and he would want to ask what's outside the simulation. So I thought, let's just have it draw a picture of what's outside the simulation, right? So I'll prompt outside the simulation. And let's see what's outside, right? I mean, I've been wondering for a while. Although, what's outside that simulation? Am I right? Maybe not. Okay, I don't think it knew uh, what I was asking, but let's take a peek at this. This is kind of neat. This is like some kind of Matrix slash 13th floor-esque thing. This looks like uh I don't I, like the New York Tower. This looks like a New York building, kind of a little bit. It's like a spider building. None of these look like outside the simulation, unless I really don't understand what the simulation is, which I do not. But even even then, I still think the images are amiss. Um, the space surveillance though from Stable Diffusion is pretty cool. Yeah, I like these. I mean, I'm sure in a few years people are gonna start passing off UFO photos. And then we're not going to know what the heck's real. Not that we even do now. But these aren't so bad. They're pretty cool. I mean, definitely the, the stars are a lot more interesting in these. And the realism. That top right picture, that looks like the stars. The way it blurred it. The way some of the stars are more bright. And they've got the little uh, peaks there or whatever. Or li lines. I don't know what you call it. Two more. No, one more. We've only got one more credit. So this is the credit. Um. Oh, no. I did the blueprint of the, the warp engine already. So perhaps we should pick the best one and do variation for our last credit. Because I actually don't have any more prompts. Did I have any requests more from the night cafe one? I didn't do outside the simulation. Maybe it knows what's outside the simulation. Because I sure don't. So we'll try outside the simulation here. But then just to check Dali, let's go to our recents here and let's try to pick the best one and get variations on that. So I wouldn't say the space was the best. The Rick and Morty one, I, this one I could go for some variations on, but let's keep looking. These are all a little bit too creepy, although this third one, if I got variations, that, like this one, if I got another 200 variations, I could probably find something that would be cool for my for like a website or an email or like a, ver, like a little 3D model of myself. But it's not there yet. The Dolly ones are pretty cool. Or sorry, this is the Monet one, I meant to say. Not Dolly like the painter, but Monet. I don't know why I mixed those two up. No reason to. This was a fail. This was a fail as well. The blueprints here, not accurate enough for me. The Bruce Lee was a complete miss. War of the Worlds was as well. The Jesus ones were funny, but I don't think I need a variation on them, to be honest. These I could see Dolly making very good comics. Some of the comics here, I mean, this is good enough. Like... If the text was funny, like, that's all I need, honestly. The beagle one, I could go for a variation on this third beagle or the first one. So, yeah, to me, it's between the beagle and the Rick and Morty character. I think we'll try variations on this because the beagle, we're probably just going to get more beagles. So let's try it. Generate variations. I don't know what that's going to get us. I think we only get three instead of four, which is another unfortunate piece. But that's just the game you play. And in the interim, we've got what's outside the simulation. We got the answer. Um, it's one of these four things, I guess. I kind of always suspected it was the first one, but I'm surprised if it was the third one. This looks like some kind of uh, simulation of that, that Second Life game. I think that's what they thought I was asking for, perhaps. So I still have 15 credits with Stable Diffusion, and I think I've made all the stuff. Huh. I hope that's not the case. Let's check out Dali one more time. So we got our variations. I'm happy with them. Yeah, they're fun. These are fun variations. They're all kind of silly still. I think this one's one of the best, actually, too. I mean, it's completely lost Star Trek at this point. For that, I think, yeah, the first one was probably the best, honestly. That one had the most Star Trek -ish, Star Trekishness. It had the colors right. Uh, okay, so we're we're out of credits for Dali. We used them all. And we have a little bit left for Stable Diffusion. I think we could probably try one more thing with Stable Diffusion then. Let's check my creations. These are all the ones I made. Let's do the same kind of idea. Let's try to find some variations of whatever the best ones were it made. I think it did a good job here with the Monet explosion. Um, nuclear explosion. The blueprints were decent. The Bruce Lee stuff was really good, actually. So was the War of the Worlds one. Even the Jesus one was good. It wasn't what I wanted. But darned if it wasn't funny. 
Oh, and the Beagle one was really good. Yeah, let's do a Beagle one here because I wanted to do a Beagle one in the last one. Evolve this creation. How do, so let's figure out how to do it, first of all. Edit? Is that... Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Buy a link. Ew, that sounds gross. View creation. Okay, that's step one. Enhance? That's possible. Oh, oh, I don't want to upscale it. I don't care about that. Oh, here we go. Here's the separate images. So from that, this was the one I liked the most. We can duplicate it. We can evolve it. We can download it. And we can use it as a primary. So let's evolve this one whatever that means. You're evolving a creation using an algorithm that doesn't support start images. Try changing the algorithm above to be coherent or artistic. Okay. I don't want to do that. So stable diffusion doesn't let you use base images. It's interesting. I started with a base image. I guess you start with stable diffusion and then you adjust it with coherent. So let's try to, oh, so wait, did it just, okay. It took my image. It's got the text. Now we got the coherent algorithm. And I don't know how, I got some credits left. Now there's a lot more options too. That's interesting. I guess that's because we're using this coherent one. Uh, this is still making AI art, so it's still interesting, but let's just keep everything the same. I don't need, let's not do just one credit though. Let's make, how, how do you make more than one variation? Try multiple. Is that what it means? No, more start images? No, thank you. Accuracy boost. Ooh, even that's part I don't like. See, this is all the parts I don't like where they've turned it into a business a little too early. It's like, come on, prove your worth first. Okay, let's just make one one variation here. Uh, and let's just, as far as this, let's do evolve creation of the entire set and see if that is any better. Choose image to evolve. Uses a, oh, okay, that's fine. So the, the one I wanted to use as the base image in this case perhaps would be this one. Oh, it's got all the people there. That's creepy. But it's, I don't like that at the same time. I think that the, they, the people all got it disintegrated. So it's the same thing, though, unfortunately, with this one where you have to keep changing to the coherent model if you want to create these. Yeah, I don't really like that too much, to be honest. So let's just make a few more prompts, I guess. Here, Here's the... That's the variation it made? Well, that's terrible. Yeah. So let's, let's do one more here with this here. Let's just make a 16-image one of one of our, our top image ones that it made. Uh, I think it was the Monet one was one of the best. The nuclear explosion. Let's try again. A painting of a nuclear explosion with a mushroom cloud. Or let's say mushroom cloud in the style of Monet. Yeah. Um, or should we do the style of Monet? No, let's get rid of the style of Monet. And now let's do that modifier. And would Synthwave fit? I don't think so. I think for this, we're going to want an oil painting. So let's see what it does. So here in this case, maybe this model is tuned for the James Gurney oil paintings. Uh, and for some reason, I can only make... Oh, okay, there we go. I can make four credits worth. Sure, let's do that. I want to make nine images then. And I wanted to use my prompt weight at 60%. Let's give this a shot. And while it's making that one... Is there anything else we can do with Dolly? Not too much. I think we got the basics of it there. So if you want to check out my other video for some of the cool stuff I made last time, you can see that as well. And we'll make some more next month when they give me another 15 credits. Uh, it doesn't, oh, does it say it here? Yeah, September 24th. So maybe I'll do another video September, late September when I have more Dolly credits. And now we have, oh, there's the creation here. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it made some pretty cool nuclear explosions. Like, if you were going to make album art cover or something like this, that first one is great. It even, like, spread the clouds here at the top. Yeah, I mean, honestly, those are great. So I think it can, it can do some really good ones. If we go back again here to my creations, what was the other one that got, re got really good? And let's just make another big bunch of them. The other one that it got really good was the not the Bruce Lee one so much. It, it was kind of the Beagle one for some silly reason. Oh, again, though, here, when I added James Gurney, I think we should just use the modifiers. That's the trick, then. So let's use one that... Let's do the Chicken Little one, but with a better modifier. How about that? Chicken Little's The Sky is Falling. I'll reword The Sky is Falling a little bit, too. So Chicken Little, The Sky... The Sky is Falling. Chicken Little, The Sky is Falling. Let's add a modifier. I think... 
Sinister probably fits better. So for Sinister, it's decided to use Greg Grutowski's style. I think this just clearly shows that it's definitely been trained. Let's make 16 images. Let's just go, let's go crazy. I'm just trying to burn through credits right now here. Are you sure you want to spend seven credits on one creation? Yes. Yes, I do. I'm that crazy. I want to see more images of Chicken Little, dude. Um, so that's it for Dali. We're just going to see this Chicken Little creation, and I think we're going to call it a day. But I need to see this one here. And it was grim, so I guess we should probably hide it. we got to sneak up on it. Or, or I guess I, sh I probably should hide that one, too, because, again, if it was too dark. And I guess that's one thing to note with Night Cafe is that it can actually, I believe, generate not safe for work images. So it's something to watch out for if you're searching for that kind of thing. Uh, but that's not really what we're going for here. So hopefully it won't take too long to create 16 images by Greg Rutowski. Maybe while we're doing that, too, we can actually look at this. Look at Greg Rutowski's style. Like, who is Greg? I have no idea who Greg Rutowski is. Okay, he just he seems to be uh, an artist of uh, of fame. He works as an art station thing here. So he's got lots of cool art anyways. And, yeah, let's just see what, what it created. So here it is. Wow, that's really cool, actually. That's more like what I was hoping for. This is this is the sky falling and chicken. Although Chicken Little looks pretty kick ass. I I thought he'd be more relaxed. Um but it's pretty cool actually. So this is a good example of of stable diffusion doing it. It it went out on a, a good note there. So I think those modifiers is a key piece with stable diffusion. And with Dolly, I think uh, you just got to keep playing with it. I mean, I think there were some there were some hits and some misses there. But thanks for checking out my video. Uh, hopefully I'll do one next month when I get more credits or just next time I feel like doing one AI art. Uh, if you like this video, throw me a like. If you want to support me, motivate me, keep track of what I'm up to, subscribe. Uh, that's it. So thanks for checking out my video and see everyone in the next one. And goodbye.